So we said good morning. So let's start with the longest word in the English language. You know? You know? Anti. Anti. Say. This. Establish. Men. Aryan. Ism. Anti disestablishmentarianism. What the? Anti disestablishment Terrianism. It's a trivia question. Yes, it's not important, but trivia is information you know. I know that we don't need to know, but we know. Um, like, for example, what is the capital city of France? Paris. Paris. Paris is the capital of France. You know that, but we don't need to know that. It's not important. Trivia. Trivia, small information. When was Confucius born? I don't know, but if you know, this is trivia. Information, you know, but probably not too important. Right? Trivia. So, the, what is the longest word in the English language? When we, were, when we were children, we would say that. What's the longest word in English? Anti disestablishmentarianism. Everybody knows that. So, when we were children, we would say that, but we didn't know what it meant because it comes from England. I am American. So, in my heart, I don't have a feeling for this word. I don't really know what it means. I looked it up. It had something to do with the Church of England. Church. And I think the king. To the king, you know, King Charles. King Charles. You know, today it's King Charles. It has something to do with the Church of England and the king or the government many years ago. So I don't really know what it means. It has to do with church and the government. But it doesn't matter. As long as you know the longest word in the English language outside of science. Way Yes, because we can have a science word that's this long in science. Many big science words. But this is not a scientific word. Remember? The regular word. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Teacher, teacher, let me try. No. Alright, together. Anti disestablishment. Terrianism. So, establishment. Establishment. Uh, 
Yeah, so the, the, the base, thank you, thank you. The base word is establishment. Yeah, establishment. Establishment. Terrianism. Disestablishmentarianism. Anti disestablishment terrianism. You got it. Okay, so that's good. Uh, thank you. Oh, uh, what's that? Oh, no. Oh, how about this? Uh, you are sophomores. Uh, and in the U.S., the students behind you are called freshmen. Freshmen, even though they may be girls, and you are sophomores. Thou are soph sophomores. Yeah. Because in high school in America we go one, two, three, four, and third would be juniors, and then seniors, and this would be your age. Cow E, right? Sophomores. Yes. Uh, it's a it's an interesting word. That's why I present to you this word. Sophomores. Sophomores. Your teacher was a sophomore. I was a sophomore. The older people in your families were sophomores. We all were or going to be sophomores. It's not personal. Don't take it personally. Think about it. You understand? Soft means intelligent, smart. Why? Because you are older. Well, you're not babies. Right? So, um, I'm looking for the sticks. Like, uh, can I borrow some pens? Like little children. One, oh, two, three. They see. And one, two, three. Oh, okay, three. One, two, one plus two equals three. They can see it and touch it, right? Thank you. But you are older. You don't have to see it. You can, you can do 2x squared minus y to the third equals You don't have to see it. You can just think it. Abstract. Abstract. Abstract thinking. You don't have to see it. You can just understand it. X. What's X? We don't know. All right. And and children. Concrete. One, two. Abstract. Concrete. You're older. You can think abstractly. Back. Five years ago, you were children. In five years into the future, Jin Ho, you will be adults, grown-ups. So now, you're a little bit in the middle. You're, you're intelligent, but you want to play. Sure, you're young still, and maybe you, you want to play a little bit, right? So you're intelligent, and you want to play. You're in the middle. You're, it's not personal. We all do it. Okay, sorry. That's that, uh, yeah, sophomores. So, let's go on. So, in 10th grade, we studied Shashvia, Shakespeare. 
right? Yes. Shakespeare. Shakespeare was English, was an English writer 500 years ago. Maybe. Well, he, he wrote so much, some of us think there were many people who wrote, and they call it Shakespeare. Maybe. We don't know. But so much, we don't have so much time. I've, I've written two books, and it took me three, four years to do two books. Me. Because I have to eat. I have to do other things. I can't just write. So it's hard to believe, difficult to believe, one person wrote all that Shakespeare did. We don't know. We're not sure. But in any case, uh, I'll present to you the most, maybe the most famous piece by Shakespeare. English speakers know this, okay? Shall I, shall I compare Bijiao, Bijiao? Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Wendy, question mark. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Yes. Because Shakespeare wrote about people. He was a person, or the people who wrote for Shakespeare were people, and they had feelings. My eyes sees this person. Oh, I like, I like this person. But I'm shy. I should. I'm shy. I'm a shy person. So I will write and then put under the door. Here. I will write. To a summer's day, you are from northeast China. What the heck? You're from northeast China. I'm from northeast USA. Yeah, we know winter. Yes? Uh, yes. It can be cold and not fun. But a beautiful summer day can be nice. Right? Maybe 25 degrees. Sunny day. Blue sky. No. It's okay. Right, sometimes it's too hot, yes. But a beautiful sunny day, I like. But I also like you. I don't know what to say. So I will write. Thou art. Old English. You are. More lovely. Thou art more lovely. Do you know lovely? Yes. Cute. Cute. Our eyes light. Like what we see, right? Yes. You are more lovely and 
more temperate. 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 Related to temperature, but let me say that in Changchun today, the weather is temperate. It's nice. Sunny, warm, agreeable, acceptable. Pretty good, right? So temperate, nice, nice weather. Right? Okay, so, but you, more lovely, more temperate. Uh, I don't know how to say that. Uh, more uh, lovely, k'aidyar. K'aidyar? K'aidyar. More lovely. Oh, gum. Oh, gum. Ah, uh, yeah, gum, gum. Gum, gum. Oh, yeah, yeah. Better. All right, so, shall I compare thee to a summer's day? I'll say it and then you say it, okay? Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Shall I Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? To a summer's day. Thou art more lovely. And more temperate. And more temperate. English speakers know these lines. We, we every, most people know it. Coming back. Very famous. So I present to you. Okay. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? So let me uh, get rid of off summer's day. More temperate? Bye bye. Okay, I'll start you finish it. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Yes, yes, yes. More temperate. One more time. Yes, yes, yes. Shall I compare thee? Thou art. Thou art. Yes, yes. You're very good. Thank you. Uh, thou art more lovely and more temperate. Okay, that that is a sonnet. A sonnet. Yeah, a sonnet. Shakespeare wrote many, many, many sonnets. And this is maybe the most famous, one of the most famous. A sonnet is an English poem. English, English poem. Of 14 lines. 14 lines. Here, here it is, right here. There's 14. Okay, I, I gave you two. And written, written in iambic. Iambic. Iambic pentameter. Pentameter. <laughs> Iambic pentameter. Now you, you can write Iambic pentameter. I can write Iambic pentameter, but it's difficult. It's not easy. It's not easy. I, I, it takes time. You have to be smart, time, put together, because 
It's a little bit like writing music. Yeah. You have to know or be, be good at it. I'm not good at it. I can write. Oh. Pent means five. Here, look. Uh, uh, what is it? Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? So there's ten syllables. Two is one beat. So shall I? <coughs> one. Compare two. The two. A summer. A summer's day. Up, down, up, down, up, down. There's five. Using ten syllables. Uh, ending with a couplet. C O U P L E T. But we'll see that like we'll see that in a few weeks. A sonnet is a, an English poem of 14 lines written in iambic pentameter. Very good. So we associate, we English speakers associate Shakespeare and iambic pentameter because he was good at it and he wrote a lot of it. I can do it, but I, I haven't. Big bye? You got it? Okay. That's all. This is 10th grade English in America. You understand? I saw it, got me in 10th grade, so I'm presenting to you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right, very good. So that was Shakespeare. Now, did we do the little story about the plum? Leader? Leader? Do we talk about that? Uh, the story about the plum? Uh, let me just quick. So, you know, these are plums, right? So, let me example. What does he got here? So let's say, just for this story, let's say I'm, I'm, I'm a Guga, he's Didi. Older brother, younger brother. Yes? Okay. So it's a, a weekend. He's a student, so he no no school. He's sleeping. Okay. Wool goes wool. I work. So I I wake up, I wake up early, I go to the bathroom, I take a shower, I get dressed, and I go for breakfast. I open the fridge. Bing Xiang. I open the fridge and I see I see plums. I eat the plums. They're delicious. But they're not my plums. They're Dee Dee's plums. Dee Dee put them in the fridge for his breakfast. But I ate them. Sorry, Dee Dee. I love my brother, but I also love Plums. So, I feel bad. So, uh, I write this. And I put this on the fridge. So he sees it. Right? Let's, let's read it together, okay? This is just to say. I have eaten the plums that were in the ice box in which you were probably saving for breakfast. Forgive me. They were delicious. So sweet. So sweet. And so cold. And so cold. William. Yeah. Carlos. Carlos. Williams. Williams. William Carlos Williams was an American writer. 
Scripture in. He wrote books. Gushu, 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 Gushu. Stories, storybooks, poems. Shakespeare was English. William Carlos Williams was American. So I present to you, okay? Also, high school English class. All right? Mingbai? Do you understand? Yes, you do. All right, good. So what's next? Um, how about tongue twisters? Did we do it? Shito, tongue. Twist, tongue twister. Then, you know, uh, woodchuck? Which do we do? How much wood? Yes, yeah. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck? If a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck? If a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck what? Very good. Okay. Uh, how about another one? How about scream? Jin Jin Jiao? Jin Jiao? You know? All right, this is easy. You can, I'll say it and then you say it, okay? I scream. You scream. We all scream. For ice cream. 